वेलकम बैक गाइस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ओपन रीडिंग फ्रेम और सिंपली बेटर नोन एज ओ आर एफ्स यू प्रोबेबली हर्ड दिस नेम्स थाउजेंड टाइम्स एंड यू काइंड ऑफ डोंट नो व्हाट इट इज और इवन इफ यू नो समाइम्स नो रॉन्ग थिंग अबाउट ओपन रीडिंग फ्रेम्स सो व्हाट इज ओपन रीडिंग फ्रेम एक्चुअली ओपन रीडिंग फ्रेम और सिंपली इट्स ओ आर एफ लेट्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द नेम फर्स्ट ओपन रीडिंग फ्रेम सो रीडिंग फ्रेम मीन्स ऑब्वियसली the structure or construct smaller construct that we can actually read that the thing is it's not about reading for us is the reading for uh, the polymerase enzymes it's 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 actually the reading for reading from ribosomes actually so ribosomes will read uh, those frames and what are those frames actually they're nothing but the sequence of dna right the thing is it's a stretch of dna sequence which contains a initiation point of translation a termination point of translation and inside some gene which will be transcribed into proteins that's it stretch of nucleotide sequences present in the dna which has a protein synthesis initiation site and protein synthesis termination site and in between there will be couple of nucleotide codons which will code for different types of amino acids which will be added with each other via peptide bond and they will form a fully functional protein inside the cell that stretch of nucleotide sequence is called as open reading frame now i know many people they think something different which is wrong so let's talk about here let's say this is a stretch of the dna that we're talking about let me actually write little slower because of the light problems so if this is it then what we know let's say in this case what we have we have a transcription a translation start site so it's a start codon usually aug but for in the dna it will be atg start codon the stop codon that is the transcription translation or protein synthesis stop site there are three different codons usually there is u sorry that means t g a a g so this three thing right one minute it should usually u a a u g a u a g like for example let's say t a a okay for example so this is the start codon atg stop codon taa for example there are three different stop codon now why we put t instead of u because we are talking here about the dna not about the rna and in dna it will be thymine instead of uracil right so open reading frame should contain these things start or initiation site of translation or protein synthesis stop or termination site of protein synthesis and in between there will be different codons which will ultimately provides us an mrna then it will provide us a fully functional protein which is obviously let me write it's obviously functional right so this is the structure of an open reading frame now many student believe that open reading frame means only the three nucleotide codon that's not correct open reading frame is the complete set of codons including the start codon and stop codon which will give us a functional protein if we transcribe and then translate it that is open reading frame the whole thing here this complete setup here is open reading frame why it's called open reading frame because it is open for the transcription by the polymerase rna polymerase and that is also open for the translation by ribosomes that is open reading frame that you need to be very careful about all these things like for example if you are talking about prokaryotes in that case the open reading frame only means once uh, the structure of the dna that we've talked before they will produce the mrna and then you be transla translated into proteins no problem but if you are talking about eukaryotes in that case it becomes slightly difficult because in eukaryotes remember in eukaryotes we have introns and exons in mrna 
Exons are the functional units, introns are the non-functional units. Non-functional means they will not code for any protein. Exons code for protein. The thing is, in, in those eukaryotic system, we produce the mRNA. And that mRNA, if I draw it correctly, let's say the stretch of exons and introns are present. For example, these are the intron sequences in green and rest of them are exon sequences. So that mRNA and the that stretch of open reading, that stretch of sequence will, will not be called as the open reading frame because in that case it is consisting of intron and exon both. But what we talk about open reading frame, we talk about the section of DNA which will ultimately produce a functional protein. But in this whole sequence of the DNA or mRNA is not producing a functional protein there. Now the thing is once it is processed properly like the editing, for example the splicing, 5 prime capping, 3 prime polyadenylation, it will produce a mature mRNA. Once it is produced, producing all those mature mRNA, in that case we call it an open reading frame because in that case that mRNA can give rise to uh, the production of a functional protein. Right? So for the eukaryotes, the idea will be different. But the basic thing is the same is that whatever stretch of DNA we choose, it should be transcribed and that mRNA will be translated into a functional protein. That's very important.